Today we're going to make a glittery, viscous slime. The first ingredient in this recipe is a 4% borax solution. I made mine using 500 milliliters of water and 20 grams of borax powder. I used a scale in order to measure out the 20 grams of borax powder. This is important to me because I wanted my recipe to be as accurate as possible. Once I'd done the measuring, I combined it with my 500 milliliters of water, stirred it for a little bit, then heated it up in the microwave for about four minutes. I had to repeat this one more time. After that, I added it into a container that I could store it in for later use. I made a little mistake and added in my food coloring right here. Later I found this caused my borax to crystallize again more quickly in the container. The second ingredient is a 4% polyvinyl alcohol solution. I bought mine at BME Labs, a science supply store near my house. Now let's measure out how much I want of this ingredient. I chose 40 milliliters of this polyvinyl alcohol solution. I put the rest back in the container and now I'm using the same bowl to make my recipe. Let's add in the 40 milliliters of polyvinyl alcohol solution into the bowl. I add a little bit of glitter just for fun. You can see the first time I did the recipe, it wasn't exactly how I wanted it to be. That's why I'm making it again here. So I'm going to measure out the borax, and this is the part I'm changing. Last time I did an exact 4 to 1 ratio, 40 milliliters of water to 10 milliliters of borax solution. It was a little viscous and really broke apart when I was playing with it. So I decided I would try for about 8 milliliters of the borax solution this time. I added it slowly to make sure that I didn't add any more than I needed. You can see it coming together already. Now I'm about to the 8 milliliter mark, so I'm going to set this aside and see if I'll need it for later. Keep on stirring. It really seems like I'm going to need that extra two milliliters, but I get used my patience and wait it out. I'm definitely not going to need that extra borax after all. Let's remove the slime from my popsicle stick that I was using to stir. Get it out of here and see if we can combine these kind of two chunks of the slime together. When you make a slime like this, one of the things I like for students to consider is whether the slime is a solid or a liquid. I can hold it in my hand, so that really makes me think of a solid. But when I put it into the container, I notice that it starts to take on the shape of the container. I wonder if that's the property of a solid or if that's the property of a liquid. Now be careful kids, this can soak into your clothes, your couch, and your carpet.